What's going on YouTube? How you doing? This is Tech Extremist. Welcome to In The Tech News. I am Hector reporting for The Tech Extremist, my own channel, and for Tech Live channel, of course. So make sure you subscribe to both channels and hit that ring notification bell. All right, now let's go ahead and get started with our, with our article here. Let me shrink myself so y'all can see that. All right, and there you go. FierceWireless.com, T-Mobile asks FCC's permission to keep using unused 600 megahertz spectrum. Now, there are some markets here where T-Mobile is continuing to use it. Los Angeles, San Diego, Tucson, Arizona, and or tucson arizona excuse me and bellingham washington all right and they're asking the fcc hey we still need to use the spectrum and you know what i particularly don't feel too bad for them and i hope the fcc says no because i don't know if you've been keeping up but the way they've been acting with dish I don't think T-Mobile should get the nod here. At least not in my opinion. All right. And it's funny because when the pandemic first hit and T-Mobile and Dish were still friends, Dish loaned T-Mobile its unused 600 megahertz spectrum to help it boost capacity during the crisis. Dish has 600 megahertz spectrum in every partial economic area in the United States. It was only a few months later, though, when Dish and T-Mobile weren't so friendly anymore that Dish became reluctant to, ex you know, extend those Spectrum loans. <laughs> that's funny. All right. So that's what happens when you act like you act. All right. I'm not saying Dish is right here, by the way. You guys know that I don't agree with what Dish wants either. But if you're T-Mobile, you're going to accept that loss there. Now, let me explain my opposition to the initial issue, right? Which is that 600 megahertz spectrum that's not being used in those economic areas, LA, Tucson, and then Washington. Well, the way I see it is, T-Mobile is a multi-billion dollar company. And they're saying that they're, in, especially in the areas that are by the border, 700 megahertz is causing, or is being, in, you know, there's interference because of the, situation at the border where you have the mexican carriers transmit over and then it causes interference verizon has famously seen seen this in el paso texas find ways around it for a really long time sprint was doing networks in some areas with only 1900 megahertz you got billions of dollars you got a relatively weak capital expenditure up it fix it Personally, I don't feel that bad for T-Mobile. You know, maybe they'll extend them for a little bit, allow it to allow them to use it for a little longer, but they should be in a hurry trying to build out, trying to fix that issue. Because I don't think anything should be given to T-Mobile, especially when you keep in mind their opposition for that 12 gigahertz band from, the, from Dish. That's the funny thing about life, right? Where it goes around, comes around. You oppose one thing, which is, by the way, the carriers do this all the time. This is nothing new. Verizon and, you know, T-Mobile will be friendly one day and then the next week, they're mortal enemies. You guys just saw they did a spectrum swap not that long ago. But the truth is that I don't think that we should have any sympathy for T-Mobile here. They should not allow them to use that spectrum. And good on this for pulling back their spectrum from T-Mobile. That's just how it goes. You play hard, you, you fall hard. That's how it rolls. Uh, but anyway, let me know down in the comment section what you think of this particular issue. There will be a link in the description area to this article so you can read it for yourself. Make up your own opinion. Come back and tell us what you think. But anyway, I really appreciate y'all watching. Hit like, subscribe, comment. Make sure you hit that ring notification bell. You all have a good one.